What is up traders? Stan Guzman here with 7 Points Capital bringing to you today's trade takeaways. So let's take a look at the stuff that moved today. Um, first of all, SPY, we had a pretty strong day here. We gapped down and then we rallied. Nothing really interesting to be honest with you. Um, the volume is pretty low here. We're still chopping around in this range. Um, and we'll see which way we break out. Um, let's take a look at the stuff we traded today. I was watching GEMP. So there's been a few runners last week and um, they have some pretty decent range. So this one on Friday was pretty amazing. I mean, the range was insane here. Gapped up, ripped towards $14 and the low here was in the $9. Um, and then we closed what 10 bucks so the range is insane the volume was there so today I was waiting for some continuation maybe a stuff out of the gate we didn't get the stuff out of the gate we got a gap down and a consolidation below VWAP uh, this is a setup that I like to trade uh, gap down consolidation below VWAP so I was shorting pops in here uh, covered into the washout reshorted whatever I um, whatever I covered I reshorted and unfortunately it didn't go my way, got stuffed. So my stop was above this high here um, in the 50s. So I started taking off bits and pieces on the way up. Unfortunately, that was just the stuff and we rolled over. I didn't want to participate in um, right here. I didn't want to reshort it here because the volume was much lower. It was already 1030 and it looked pretty thin. So I didn't want to get in here. And also it's above VWAP. It's not really my A plus setup. So um, although um, J Trader, my friend J Trader from Twitter, he caught this um, this really nice fade. So definitely um, gonna go back, rewatch the tape, and see what I could have done better here. Um, let me actually pull up the executions here. GEMP right here. So I was shorting here, covering, reshorting, and covering on the way up. Um, still actually a winner, small winner, because I took it off right here. So I, I uh, had a pretty decent gain right here. Uh, next one was PED. <coughs> this is another one that's pretty decent. Uh, ran before and consolidated on Friday. Also pretty decent range, good volume. And out of the gate, we had pretty interesting um, action we started consolidating right here dropped and then stuffed into the three dollars <throat> I was a little bit too big um, too soon so I ate the loss somewhere in here in the 90s um, but I reshorted most of it pretty much at the top so I shorted um, right here took it off once we broke out of this level here and I was I was watching the three dollar range um, let me pull up the executions PED right so shorting uh, actually covered some reshorted covered and pretty much top ticked it on pretty decent size covered some reshorted and now it's just recycling right so we just covering into big washes and reshorting and covering and and, and so forth. Um, I shorted right here because we were testing this this level here, this consolidation. So shorted it, covering to the wash. Uh, there was a huge offer at 34, I believe. So I I hit 32s or 33s, uh, covered some, reshorted, and that was a trap. So. We, got squeezed out over here but overall pretty decent one I wish there was more more volume and more fall through though uh, the next one this one was very interesting CEI this one's actually my top performer um, this one was very interesting last week and today we had another rip I was just watching it I did not want to participate I wanted to see how it reacts to a dollar and then once we started consolidating below VWAP, I started shorting it right here. Um, let me pull up executions. I was hoping that it would start to just, uh, it would start to collapse here midday, but 
it had a nice little squeeze here and then we pulled back um, I was battling it here to be honest with you I made some good money right here scalping this and then I gave back a lot over here and I actually got squeezed out into this candle right here it was just so strong the offers was getting wiped out you could see the offers absorbing that's why I was just kind of holding I was covering into the red candles but I was holding a core on the short side because the offers were absorbing and then once we rejected right here I covered some here a good chunk and then once we pop the offer starts to reserve so I start to re-add and then we break the offer again and it's just wiping offers still absorbing but we're still we're still wiping the offers so I just took it off and that's when it cracked but I started re-adding on the on the back side here covering into washes and re-adding uh, re on the pops um, so this one was the best one I traded a lot of shares in this one let's see so yeah I was shorting near the view up covering and shorting again covering into the washes uh, started shorting right here because I thought that we broke through the view up we stuffed everybody in and consolidated above and now dip right back in uh, so I was betting on the break of this uptrend right here uh, didn't happen started adding some more adding some more taking some off but then re-adding into the pops um, got a pretty nice fill right here um, covered some and then right here is where I took it off and that's that was the top pretty much top ticked it so but on the way down uh, that was really clean so shorting into pops covering into washes and shorted into this pop right here into the VWAP stuff covered into the wash and then I just left it alone um, we'll be definitely watching it tomorrow um, we have a half day tomorrow so uh, just watch out for that and um, that's pretty much it oh also TNDM tandem gap down today washed out really hard and then reclaimed uh, 21 level so it's been doing that a, a lot I mean it's been washing out and then bouncing really hard washing out bouncing uh, today we gap down and wash down that was really nice I did get short on Friday and today I covered some covered a chunk today into the wash let's see if I get the execution so I covered some covered some into the big wash re-added some and we'll see what happens from here but uh, looks like we're due for a pullback but that's what I'm doing so these are my takeaways uh, thank you guys for watching if you have any questions you can tweet at me at your trader my name is Stan Gluzman and I'll see you guys in the next one peace